Hi crafty friends, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is for Spellbinders. I am using the Shapeabilities Kaleidoscope Tile and Kaleidoscope Strip. I have made two cards with these and I do have to say I really had a lot of fun. I've used their Kaleidoscope dies before. Um, and I think they're so beautiful and I think the possibilities are endless with the types of colors that you use. So this, the first dies are uh, the Kaleidoscope Tile and you get three dies in this and they are square. And you have the bottom one, which I'm gonna show you first, which is on the left-hand side. This would be the bottom piece. This is gonna have um, less detail and then you have your second piece that's going to sit on top of that. And as you can see, now you can see some of the detail from the bottom piece underneath. And then the third piece is going to sit on top of this. And when you put all of that together, you get this really beautiful, intricate um, piece of tile work, especially for these square ones, but it's just stunning. I love these. I think they're so pretty. And I think um, the color combinations are endless. These are the colors that I am using. Um, I'm using from Cardstock Warehouse. It's their Tropical Nights paper pack. And for this first card, I used every single color. There's five colors in this paper pack. So I started with this pink and then I did the, layered the green on top and then we will layer the teal. And I think it turned out stunning and it's so, so pretty. And so you'll really be able to see um, the intricate details when you've got the different colors of cardstock. Isn't that really super pretty? So I'm going to die cut some more of these. We're going to have a total of four um, that we're going to die cut for this first card. So again, here's the cardstock that I'm using. This is Tropical Nights from Cardstock Warehouse. This is their uh, paper pack. There's an orange in it and a black in it. And so you'll see how I incorporate those two colors. So when I die cut it through, uh, I use a Platinum 6, uh, <laughs> Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cut machine. And then I'm using Spellbinders Tool in One. And I'm using that little brush end while the paper was still in um, kind of in the back of the die cut and it gets out a lot of those little tiny pieces really fast and especially when you get to the top layer it has a lot more holes in it or you know a lot more pieces of um, die cut pieces coming out so this little tool is fantastic because I really don't have a lot of patience but it works really really good to get all those little pieces out so if you're doing a lot of die cutting, it is great. So I really liked it for this project. And any little pieces that were staying in there, I used the little pointy end. So now I'm going to glue these together. And I'm actually going to start with the top piece first because there's less paper there. And I'm going to adhere the glue to that piece and then stick it to the middle piece. That way there's not glue in places that you didn't need it, if that makes sense. Then I will add glue to the back of that green piece and then adhere the pink piece to it, which is actually the bottom piece. And I'm gonna do um, the rest of those off camera. I'm not gonna show all of those because there's it's all the same, there's no point. But you can see how pretty that is. And I just set that aside and put an acrylic block on it to hold it together. Now for this card, being that those were square pieces, I'm going to make a five by five card base. So I'm trimming it um, long ways to 10 inches and then I'm going to trim it at the 5 inch mark and I will score it at the 5 inch mark and so then we will have a 5 by 5 square card base. So I'm just using my little score tool here and this um, this uh, bone folder is from Lawn Fawn and I'm just going to score that really good, fold that over. I like to fold mine and push it up against the edges so I, for the most part, get a pretty straight fold. And now we have got ourselves a five by five card base, super simple. Now I have a piece of this black card stock from that same Tropical Nights um, paper pack and that is trimmed down to four and a half by four and a half. Then we're gonna glue those tile pieces down and I'm actually spacing them out with a, with a little bit of space in between. You could push them all the way together and that was really pretty too and I did have a hard time deciding what I wanted to do but I did opt uh, for a little bit of space in between. 
So I'm going to glue all of those down. I laid them out first just to kind of get an idea of how much space needs to be around the sides and in the center. So I'm going to glue all of those down with some liquid glue. Really super, super simple. You don't need a ton of glue for this. Um, it will definitely adhere great. Um, I would not use a tape runner uh, because you would be able to see the glue through those holes unless you were really careful and avoided all the holes, but just liquid glue is your is your best bet. Um, I did like the black cardstock frame because I felt like it made it pop, and then you've got the white card base, with which is another frame. I just felt like that looked great, and I really did want to use um, all the paper in that paper pack. But isn't that tile work so stunning? I just absolutely love it. Now this is the orange from that paper pack, Tropical Nights, and I am taking a sentiment from Honeybee Stamps called Missing You. We're missing all of our family and our friends. I know I'm missing my parents like crazy. I'm missing my oldest son. Um, we did get to see them on a couple days ago for his wedding, even though we were for the most part very much social distancing. It was kind of weird, but we all need a good missing you card. So that was my sentiment. Um, I trimmed it down, used some foam tape behind it to give it some dimension, and we're just going to center that right in the middle there. I didn't want to cover up a whole lot of the intricate work on this tile um, kaleidoscope because it's just so pretty. And then I'm taking, um, I did some crystal drops. No, excuse me. I am so sorry. That is wrong. A crystal stickles. <laughs> and I'm just putting that in the, in the big center of, of each tile and then a couple little dots on each one, like four little dots all the way around. I felt like it needed just a little bit of um, glitter, but you could still give this to a guy and it's not super, super girly at all. Um, but I felt like it needed a little bit of bling. And I'm very happy with how that turned out. So just a little bit of glitter here and there. And that card is done. Really stunning, quite an impact, but really easy to make. You know, the die cutting is all that took some time but isn't that so pretty and that those colors are gorgeous. Okay, on to the next card. This is the kaleidoscope strip. Now, the piece I'm showing you right now is the bottom piece. And then you have these two pieces here that can cut it out. This would cut out the bottom part. So, I'm going to use these two pieces together on the card that we're going to make. So, it only cuts out around the bottom and then you have the other piece there that would cut it out of the top. So you would get a whole strip just like this piece I'm pointing to now. That piece is the middle piece which goes on top and that piece goes on top of the middle piece. And I'll show you with um, the die cuts I already cut. So those cut out fully and the, the piece on the left has the extra pieces to cut it out differently um, however you want to do that. So I die cut on this gold mirror cardstock. Oh, you can see me. I'm so scary. And um, and then you take this bottom piece, which die cuts around it, so you don't have um, cardstock left around the edges, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do that again on the other side of this of this cardstock here, and I'm going to tape that down with a little bit of low tack tape, and then I'm going to butt that die cut piece up next to it. So all this strip is going to cut out um, are the holes the intricate holes, details, and then that other piece will die cut out the shape. So we're going to run that through and we're going to have this wonderful strip. And then I'm also going to die cut out the white and black pieces. And I'm going to do that off camera. The white I did in diamond glitter cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. And the same with the black is, um, I will I will get the exact name of the black. It comes from the grayscale um, paper pack, and it's the black one in that. But I'll get the name for you guys on on my in my description. I will have everything linked there. So once that is all die cut, you will see what it looks like on both sides. And now you've got this great strip. And so now we're going to glue the black die cut piece to the white die cut piece. Now the black is just a straight black. The white is a white diamond glitter cardstock. And I just really wanted a classic look on this card. And so this ro rose gold mirror cardstock, you could do a regular gold, you could do silver, and that would be very pretty too. 
um, but I really liked the look of all those together. So I'm going to glue all of that, those two pieces together, the black and the white, and then I'm going to adhere that down to that rose gold mirror cardstock. And doesn't that look so stunning? It looks like lace. It is so pretty. I'm so excited about this kaleidoscope strip. I'm going to do another missing you card. I'm using that same honeybee stamps missing you. And this card says, I miss you so much. The other one says, miss you more each day. This one says, I miss you so much. And I like how big and long it is because I needed a big long strip sentiment for the center of that card. So I'm using it on the black cardstock and I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Um, you could get away with gold. I did have a rose gold embossing powder, but I felt like the white would just pop because it is going to be on a white card base. But you can choose the look that you are going for. So once that's heat embossed, I just wiped it off with a paper towel because I did prep my paper with an anti-static tool. And on this darker cardstock, you can see it looks kind of dusty. So I wiped that clean. I'm gonna put some foam tape behind that sentiment strip. And we're gonna pop that up right into the center of our die cut piece. And then we're just going to adhere that down to an A2 size white card base. Just right in the center there. And then I have these black, like jewel looking things. And I put those on the card. And I also used uh, Crystal Drops and Ebony Black to add a few, a few smaller dots. And I just did the black on black, um, which might be a little bit hard to see on the camera, but really it's super pretty in person. And I really wanted to keep it simple because I wanted the lace to stand out. And isn't that really super pretty? I love these kaleidoscope dies. You guys have got to check out Spellbinders. There's tons of them. Thank you so very much for watching this project. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope that it inspires you to create something wonderful. I appreciate all of your support. So please subscribe to my channel. If you like it, um, thumbs up, comment, share with your crafty friends. I really appreciate that. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing to use, but it does continue to help me make these videos. So thank you so very much for using them. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.